All right, Shalom, Shalom. Brother Yataz Dak, you of Israel. I'd like to start off by giving all the glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Hakrakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. All right, today we're going to go into Deuteronomy chapter 16. Going into the Hebrew, Lord willing, you're edified, giving all the glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Hakrakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Get right into it. Right, Deuteronomy 16 and uh, 1 says, uh, Shomor Athachadash Ha Abiyab, meaning uh, keep to the uh, the month of uh, Abib, right? So, Hadash really just means new, right? Renew, refresh, right? Um, which is a uh, month is also written understood as Yerach, which literally means moon, right? For example, um, certain parts of the Torah says uh, um, um, a month of days, but it's actually in the Hebrew it says um, your um, Yerach Yemayim, right? Meaning the days. Of a, of, of a moon, meaning the cycle, which is the month of a moon, right? Um, which is uh, 30 days, right? So, uh, it says, keep to the uh, month Abib. Actually, let me see if I can find that real quick. Days of a month. Let's see what we can find. So I can. So a month. All right. Might be due to run me. Let's move this up here. All right, let's see if we can get right here. Um, so like you for a month of days, Deuteronomy. Now we'll just move on. Um, yeah, we'll just move on. It's a specific uh, piece of text, so don't worry about it. But um, so it says Shamar Atachadash Abiyad Wa Ashayat Pasach La Yahawa. And you will keep to the Passover of your over of Yahweh, the Lord, your power, Allah Yakah. Right? Uh Kaya Bahadash Ha Abiyab Hatazaya Hatazayaka. Because in the month of Abib, right, he brought thee out, the Lord your power from Egypt by night. Which which is uh Yahweh Allah Yaka Mama Tazarium. Um, Layala, right, which means night, right? Verse 2 Wazabach, Wazabach, Ta, Pesach, La Yahawu, Alahayaka, you will sacrifice, that's what Zabach means to sacrifice, pass over to, to the Lord, your power, right? Uh, Tazaan, Wabakwar, herds and flocks, right? Uh, Bamakwam, meaning in the place. Ashar Yabachar, which you will choose, uh, the Lord, Yahweh, to dwell, Lashakan, his name hither, Shamawa, uh, Sham. Right? Um, Laatha Akal, 
Hilayaw, Hamataza, right? You will not eat, right? Um, upon it, anything sour, which is that what, that's what Hamat's literal meaning is sour, as in sour bread, anything that's fermented, right? When wine gets fermented, it, it, it turns sour. If you don't ferment it, if you ferment it too long, it turns into vinegar. And vinegar is sour. Simple as that. Right? Shabaita Yamayam Ta'kal Ailayawu. Right? Seven days you will eat. Right? Uh, upon it. Right? Unleavened bread. Matazawath. Right? Lacham Ainaya Kaya Bachapaz one meaning the bread of affliction, right? Aina means to afflict, to bring low, to humble. It also means humble, right? But it also means Aina, like in the book of Job, it says, Wa ya Aina, ya wa'ab. And he answered Job, right? In the sense of answering, right? Kaya ba chapazawan, Right? So you see that word kapaz. We went over that in the previous video, right? Which literally means to uh, leap or to spring, right? Um, right? So um, then you have a. Uh, uh, what is it? Um, Kopataza. Let me get that real quick. Then you have a pan, meaning a uh, handful, a fistful, or a fist, literally. Right? Let's get that. Uh, Deuteronomy 15. Um, let's see. It's like here. Yeah. Yeah, Kwapa Taza, right? You can look that up on your own. I just pulled it up so you can see where the, uh, but that means to skip or, right, in a sense of contracting, right? So it can be used in a variety of applications, right? But here, Kwapa means, which means literally to leap, right? Because of, in leaping, meaning in haste, right? Uh, the Israelites were brought out of Egypt, right? Um, and the, the one at the end, it just makes it, right, because it's a verb, right? You have, uh, um, right, you have uh, uh, the ha, right, which, uh, which makes, which, which makes a, um, a noun, right? Meaning a person, place, or thing, right? The ha at the end makes it feminine. And, um, right, without the ha, it's it's uh, masculine. But with verbs, it's different, right? For example, when it says, um, So like, yeah, let's see. Um, for example, Zakar one, meaning uh, for rem remembrance, right? Zakar means to remember, right? Um, Yataza, Ma Ma Ratiza, Matizarium, 
He brought thee out from the land of Egypt, Lamayan, Tazakar, Athayawam, so that you may remember to the day which he brought thee out, Taza'a, Taza'a, Taza'a-ka, right? Um, where's the lack here? Taza'a-ka, Taza'a-ta-ka, right? Or simply put, Taza'a-ka, right? From the land of Egypt, Ma'arataza Matazorium, right? Call Yamayum, Haya Yaka, all the days of your life, right? So essentially it reads, you shall not eat anything leaven, seven days you will eat unleavened bread, right? Which is the bread of affliction, because in haste he brought thee out from the land of Egypt, right? So that you may remember to the day which he brought thee out from the land of Egypt, all the days of your life, right? That's what it's saying. Verse 4. Walaa yara'a laka sha'ar bakal gabalka. Right? That will not be seen, right? Uh, to thee, that which re remains, sha'ar, bakal, and all. Uh, your borders, right? Because contrary to prep popular belief, that word sha'ar doesn't mean leaven. Right? Hamataza, that means leaven, which means sour. The word sha'ar me literally means to remain or a remnant of something, right? So basically, this is doubling back on verse 3, saying there shall not be seen any. They already gave you the subject matter, leaven bread, or anything leaven. It doesn't say leaven bread, it says anything sour, which is anything that could be leaven. Bread, right? Um you know you got you got bread, wine, right? Other products that contain leavening agents, right? Um which is, you know, even even things like um um uh, actually let's look that up real quick. It's like yeah. Does mushroom at eleven? See, even, um, it's like, yeah. Right, fungi consist of mold, yeast, and mushrooms. Right, yeast are single-celled organisms, right? Um... Let's see. Do uh, do mushrooms contain a form of yeast? Right. So it says. Both mushrooms and yeast are classified as fungi, but they are not at all the same. Yeast are simple, single cell organisms, while mushrooms are much more complex. It's mushroom and yeast. Right. 
so they're not yeast, but you know they contribute to the uh, to the making of yeast because of the it's it's a bacteria, right? But you have good bacteria and bad per bacteria, right? Bread muffins are the big goods. Um, right, but for those that say you know. Um, leavened bread, you know, mushrooms are unlawful, you know, leavened bread has a form of fungi, bacteria in it, right? Just like mold, they're all forms of, uh, fungi, bacteria, right? But yeah, you know, you can have mushroom in your house, you know, because that's not necessarily yeast, right? Uh, so it says, la a ya ra a la kasha or Right, so they'll not be seen in, uh, to thee, remaining, meaning any yeast, right, in all of your borders, but call Gabalka, Shabaitha, Yamayim, seven days, Wala'a, Yalawan, Yalayan, right, and none of it shall tarry, because that Lawan or Layan. That's where do you get um let's get that real quick, Salakia. The derivative of Layala, which means night. Alright. Deuteronomy sixteen Salakia. Just in here and type it in. So I can just pull it up easier. Deuteronomy sixteen. See what we get. Uh, right, so the root is the one, right? So that word the one, for example, mala one, which is a, uh, a way to say a hotel, a place of lodging while on a journey. Which Moses did. That's uh, that's in scripture, right? Uh, Ma meaning of, lawan meaning to tarry, right? Tarry means you know you're to spend the night, right? To pass the night, to lodge. Layam lawan, which is where you get layala. To tarry, right? As in tarry for a night, right? Um, which is where you get, um, the word, uh, Zebulon from. It's actually a derivative of Zab, meaning to flow, right? Lawan, or Zabyalan, um, or really it's, uh, Zab, um, Lawan, Zab, Zab Lawan, right? To flow to Terry, right? Which is another way to say, right, a uh, coast, right? Um, which is, uh, you know, they say it means haven of ships, but let's just look up, right? Coast is, uh, it's another, it's another way to say coast. Salakia, um, Hawap, right, shore, coast, right, the Arabic says, uh, Kapap, that's funny, um, uh, Hapath, or Hap, Hapath, Hap, Hapath, the coast and shore of the sea of the same origin are Sahal or um, the Syriac Sapara Sapara um, but let's look at a uh, ship I believe that's Anaya Salakia 
Um, Anaya, right? Ship, shipmen, right? It doesn't mean Haven the ships, right? You know? Um, so let's go back to uh, Deuteronomy 16, right? Um, right, or let's put in, see what we can get for that. Large, so like here. The one, my the one in lodging place, right? Meaning of spending the night or of tarrying, meaning tear to tarry for the night, right? The place where travelers lodge and in lodging place. And that's what verse 4 is saying, right? So no leaven will be found in those seven days, right? Wala'a ya'layan And will not tarry from the flesh, right? Meaning, that's another way of saying you're not going to leave it overnight. Whatever you sacrifice the lamb, whenever you sacrifice the lamb of the Passover, you're not going to leave it overnight. That's what that's another word for Terry, right? Literally it means overnight. Right? Or to spend the night, right? Um or to lodge, as in lodging for the night. But if you want to put the closest to it would be to Terry for the night. Right? Wala Yalayan. And will not tarry from the flesh, meaning you're not going to leave it overnight. The flesh that you sacrifice, Ashar Thazabach, which you sacrifice in the evening, Ba'irab, Ba'yawam, right? In that day, right? In the evening and in the day, right? From the first, Ha'ra'ash 1 to the morning, Labakwar, right? And the reason why evening is called Irab because Irab means to mix, right? Meaning when night approaches, you have the sun going down and it slowly turns into uh, dark, into darkness, right? So the light is mixed with darkness and the day transitions, right? So it says it will not be seen unto thee anything leaven and all your and all of your borders seven days right will not leave overnight of the flesh which you sacrifice in the evening in the day first unto the morning la the call that will call la zabach you will not be able to sacrifice to the passover atha pasach ba achad shayar yaka in one of your gates, Ashar Yahweh Allah Hayaka, which the Lord your power is given unto thee, Nathan Laka, Kaya Aim Al Al Hazakam Makwam, because if to the place Ashar Yabakar, which he will choose, the Lord your power Yahweh Allah Hayaka, right Lashakan to dwell his name hither, Shamawa Sham. You will sacrifice to the Passover, Tazabach, Atapasach, in the evening, Ba'arab, right? Kabawa'a, right? Uh, like, unto, like the going in of the sun, meaning when the going down of the sun, right? When the sun goes down, right? Kabawa'a, Hashemash. Now the reason why you need the Wa here is because when you pronounce it, you don't want to say ka, ka, ka ba'a. 
because that's actually another Hebrew word. So the Wa is there. It's supplementary, right? You don't necessarily need to pronounce it in some of the uh, the text. Because remember, the, the Wa in certain places was inserted by the Masorites in order to give his distinction, right? On certain words, right? So if you say Kaba'ah, Right, that means pain, painful, right? Here, let's look that up. So I can... Pain. Right. Um... So I can... it's a uh, kaab. Right. But some may say uh, uh, Kaaba, right? It means sorrowful, sore, have pain, made sad, right? It just means painful, right? And then you have to put out. So like it. Like it. Phone's freezing up. All right, so let's see. Kaba meaning to uh to put out, as in putting out a flame, right? Or to extinguish, that's what it literally means, kaba. So you don't, when you say it, you don't want it, that's why the wa is there. Because you don't want to confuse it with another word in the text or out the text. Because if you would just say, you know, I mean, if you read it, you're going to know the difference, right? But sometimes the wa, it's there for that reason, right? For the text and also, right? You know, um, you would actually say that in person too, kabawa'a, because you don't want to make it sound like you're saying extinguished, right? But it would still mean the same thing, right? That's the beauty about the Hebrew, right? In the evening, right? When this the extinguishing of the sun, if you would, if it would be written kabaha, right? which just means when the sun goes down, right? But, you know, right? So this is why the law is perfect, right? Because no matter how you, how you put it, right? It's still, right? It still gives that same meaning, right? It's not confused, confusion. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is not the author of confusion, right? Um, Hashemash, Mawaid, meaning uh, uh, the appointed time, right? Because the ma means of, right? Um, Wa'id, right? Wa meaning and, right? Ad meaning again, right? Ma Wa'id, right? Of again, meaning, right? Uh, for example, every year you had a high holy day and a certain day, right? The next year, it's going to be the same day, right? So again, you just it just means, you know, a, a time appointed, which is the same time, you know. Which uh, you can, right, sometimes it's used... Um, Nawa'id meaning uh, gathering, right? So let's get that Deuteronomy 16 and 6. So like yeah. 16 and 6.
It's lucky. Six. Mawa Eyed Strong's H4150, which is uh, Strong's H4150. Moaid. 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 Yeah. It's Esau. My wide, right? A set time, a point of time, right? Um, an assembly, right? The mount, the assembly of gods, which is probably the mountain called by the Persians. Al Barag. Albaraz. Hmm. Uh, uh, I'll have to look into that. Uh, let me screenshot that. <laughs> Right. Point of time, place meeting. I'll give you an example from the book of Genesis. Right? Well actually here's a let me go into this too. Yaid right to a point. Right? That's in the law. There's a lucky, let me just get the other one. Actually, we'll just get this right. Um, I'm Raya, I'm Raya, Ayanya uh, Adanaya. If it be evil, right? Um, meaning, or Salaki, if she be evil in the eyes of her Lord, right? Meaning, if he, she's not pleasing her Lord, this is talking about a uh. A um, a slave woman, a woman that was sold into uh, slave bondage, a Charlaa <laughs> Yaida, um, which um, which he did not appoint, right? Which he has not appointed her. Meaning, uh, you know, given, taking her into marriage. Waha Pada. And he will preserve her, right? Um, La'aim. Right? To a nation, right? Uh, Nakaria, strange. To a people, strange. Right? Or Salakia, right? So it says, I'm right, Raya. So if if she be evil in the eyes of her Lord, meaning, you know, she doesn't do what is required, right, or doesn't please him. Ashar la'a ya'ayda, which he will not be able to appoint. Ya'ayda, you know, ya'ayd means to appoint. Ya'ayda is talking about the, the, the woman in, in question. Right? Meaning he's not going to be able, right, to just do anything he wants with her. Right? He can't. Right? Um. Right. Uh, let's see. Let me draw the to myself. Right. He will not appoint her and preserve her to a people strange. Right. La Yamashal. Right. Uh that word mashal means proverb. It means to rule. But it also means uh to assimilate. Right? So he will not be able to assimilate, right? 
meaning, you know, to uh, wed her to a strange people or sell her, because it says here, to sell her, Lama Kora, right? Ba Pagadwa Baha, right? Um, ba meaning in, um, that bagad, the word bagad means a garment, right? But it also used in the sense of, uh, to deceive, right? So here it's used in the sense of covering, meaning, you know, dealing covertly. You know, meaning, you know, you, you have a, uh, um, an agenda it says, you, you know, so he's not supposed to have an agenda with that woman, you know, to do, you know, to, to deal covertly with her. Right. So it says verbatim, if it be evil in his eye, she be evil in the eyes of her Lord. Right, which he did not appoint her, meaning, um, right, um, which here says, uh, betroth, right. Right, if it be one eyes of the Lord, which, right, um, he did not appoint her, meaning he did not, um, take her in marriage, right, meaning he didn't, you know, give her to her son, so she, she, she would have the ability to be redeemed, right, and he can't sell her to a strange nation. Right, he's gonna have to, uh, like it says here, if he had betrothed her into a son, he shall do with her after the manner of daughters. If he take him, so after he, so if he marries, if he marries her into himself, she's still a slave. If he marries her into her daughter, she's not a slave anymore. She's like family now, right? If you take him another wife. Right, whether he, um, right, or her son, right, even though she's a slave or free, she's he can't diminish her raiment, uh, her duty, you know, her duty of marriage, her food and raiment, right. And if he does none of those things, right, then he shall let her go out free without money, right, and he's still not going to be able to sell her to a strange nation. Right? But that's what it means. Right? If he, if she be evil in the eyes of her Lord, which he not he did not appoint her, meaning he did not betroth her unto himself or to her son. Right? And he, and to redeem to a people strange or preserve. Right? To a people strange. Meaning he can't just put it to the side and, you know, wait till, you know, a strange, uh, uh, you know, traveler by the way comes by and then he says, okay, now I can sell her. No, he has to do something with her or let her free. So he can't sell her to a strange nation, right? Um, right. Because, right, he dealt deceitfully with her. Right, or in covert, right, or with a, you know, um, with an agenda, right, and you read about that in Genesis, um, it's a lot, yeah, and I'm kind of moving, going in different, uh, words, it's a lot, yeah, deceit, Deceive. Oh, shit, spelled it wrong. Deceive. It's a lot, yeah. 
deceit Lee. So that I got my uh, got it in English. I mean Spanish. All right, let me just get this. I have deceitfully with me. Genesis, Slack, yeah, just bear with me. Um, Genesis. Genesis 30, um, Genesis 31, 26, all right, let's get that, Genesis 31, 26, uh, I think that's it, Genesis 31, 26, um, says, uh, That's not it. See if we can get that uh 
looks like, yeah. Let's see if I can get that. Was that 29? Look at twenty nine. Maybe it's either twenty nine or thirty. Let's get that real quick. Blue letter. Man, I don't want to take too long on this. Genesis twenty nine. I just have to look up in my uh, interlinear Bible. Stone of Bones Law. No. Anyways, it's not a video, right? So that means dealing covertly, right? So that were my wide, right, to assemble, right, to gather, right, really it means to assemble, right. But the main, right, which is, uh, yeah, I'd, to appoint, to assemble, my wide means an appoint, appointed time, right. Just get one more uh, precept. Um, Deuteronomy 16. This is one and fourteen, so like yeah. Genesis eighteen and fourteen is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, the appointed time I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Right? So right. Meaning at the same time next year, right? And so on and so forth, right? Um, so verbatim it says because if to the place which you will choose the Lord your power to dwell hither to dwell his name hither you will sacrifice to the Passover in the evening and the going down of the sun and it's appointed time right or in its season right your uh, that you came out from the land of Egypt, from Egypt. Wabashalath, Wa'akalath. 
Salakia Wabashalta, Wakalta, right? And in uh in roasting it and eating it in the place Bamakwam, which you will choose the Lord of your power, Ashari Bahari, Yahwa Alahayaka. Um in it, Bawa, right? Wa Panaya, and you will turn in the morning, Babakwar, right? And you will go Wahalak Tha uh, to your tents. Wa Ahal Halyaka. Right? So that word Bashal means to uh, roast or to boil. Right? Either or. It just means to cook. But it can be used in a sense of roasting or boiling. Right? Um and the word panaya, it just it's a derivative of panaya, which means face. Right? But here it's using a sense of turning, right? Because that's where you turn first is your face when when you look here and there, right? Which is uh panay panayath, right? You because you were to uh sacrifice the Passover, cook it, eat it, right, in the place appointed, right, and you will turn in the morning, you will go back to your house. Right, um, you would go back to your t to your house, right? So it says, you will roast it and eat it in the place which you will choose, the Lord of your power. Right in it, and you will turn in the morning and go uh, to your tents. Shashath Yamayim the Akal Matazawath. Six days you will eat unleavened bread. Wabayawam and at the end of the day, the seventh, Hashabaya Ayah, is a solemn assembly. Atazarath, uh, to the Lord your power, La Yahawa Alahayaka, that word Atazar, which just means um, to shut in, right? Um, and that was, that was also in Deuteronomy. Let's get that. Um, Deuteronomy 16, what's that, verse 8, right, where it says, uh, Solemn Assembly, right, because of Solemn Assembly, the seventh day, which is the seventh day of the feast, right, we had to have a gathering together, right, because, um, Right, the fourteenth day would be a Sabbath. Right, seven more days after that would be another Sabbath. Right, so not only will you uh, celebrate the final day, but you would have to, you would also gather together and read the Torah. Right, in that day, recite the Torah. Right, that's what you would do every Sabbath. Right. Um. Has a wrath and assembly, right? Uh, the Arabic says Gamaya, <laughs> uh, more fully, the day of the assembly, Yawam al Gamaya, uh, the day of the assembly is Friday, is being the Mahubi. Mahumidian Mahumidian uh, Festival Day Signification Gathering Together Assembly So that's all it is It's a gathering together Right We read in uh, Deuteronomy 16 and 8 That's a lot Not Deuteronomy 16 and 8 Go to the root Itazar To shut Right What did it say in Deuteronomy 11, 17? The Lord's wrath be kindled against you, and he shut up the heaven. Or in the shutting in, right? Because that solemn assembly, you would, you know, gather together, you know, in a closed quarter, you know. Kind of like what Jake does in church, but, you know, they're going off, right? So that place is full of uh, idols. 
Laa ta Aisha Malaa ka, right? Which is, uh, you will not do any man or business, right? And that's where you, um, you know, it's really simple. Hebrew is simple, right? That's where you get the word angel from. Malaa ka, right? Because the word mala means to talk. Ka means thus, right? Which is uh, translated as angel or messenger. Because the Lord, what? He says, say this and say this, say thus. And go and do so, right? I believe that's in the Book of Kings, right? In the Heavenly Council, right? And that's what business is, right? The Lord's business, the angels do the Lord's business, right? But it's also known as business itself because what do you do in business? You say thus and you say thus, okay? This and this, you know, as in bargaining or whatever the case may be. That's what you do. You say thus and then the other person says thus. Right, simple as that. Right, it's not super deep, you know. The ma is water, the la means lamad staff, teach water, alap means you know, teach water, chief, you know, um, uh, ka, teach water, chief, palm, breath, ha, you know. No, that's not what it means, it just means business, messenger, angel. Here it means business. Shabaya, Shabaytha, right? Seven weeks, right? Which is where uh, Sabbath is derived. It's a derived from Shabbat, right? Um, and also it's derivative of uh, seven Shabai, which means week. That's all Sabbath means week. Or Shabab means to turn back, right? Every week, you know, it's like a schedule. You know, you perform the day of rest, right? Um, and also, it's a derivative of uh, Yashab, right? Meaning to dwell, right? So, seven days, or Salakia, um, uh, seven weeks, Shabai, Shabaitha, which really, right? It's not gonna. It doesn't say seven sevens, because uh, most people say that. Oh, it's seven and seven and forty nine. Well, it is seven and seven forty nine, but it actually says seven weeks. Because if it was seven sevens, it would say Shabaya, Shabaya, right? Which is uh, this says seven weeks, right? Uh, you will count thus apart to the laka. Ma, Mahal, right? Uh, from the beginning of the uh, sickle, Haramash, right? Which is, you see the derivative of that word Haram again, which means to lift up the sword, right? But, uh, uh, you know, you, you're actually, it's a sickle. The sickle has, uh, right, uh, Harama, Haram, lifting up the sword. The Shah is teeth. Lifting up the sword that has teeth, that has a teeth, which is a sickle, right? That's all it is, right? Bakwama in um, the standing grain, right? Because any standing grain, it stands, right? Ba meaning in, kwam meaning to stand or to rise up, something that's that rises, right? Tachal, you will begin to number la sapar, um seven uh seven times right or salakia seven sevens shabai uh shabai wath or salakia seven weeks um wa ashayath uh hag shabai wath right you will keep the feast. Hag means feast. It literally means to uh, to walk in circles, right? Or to dance in circles, right? Which is where you get the word Hajj from, which is the uh, in Islam, it's called the the pilgrimage of Hajj because it's a it doesn't mean festival, but it's derived from Hag, which means festival, but it means 
to dance ceremonially in circles. Not super deep. You don't, you don't get powers from that. It's just that's ancient custom, right? Um, shall buy wath, right? Uh, you will keep the feast of weeks, right? La Yahawa la Hayaka, right? Masath, right? Which is a um um a uh a free will, right? Um, a tribute, right? Masa is a root, or masas means tribute or tax, right? So you can tribute, you know, uh, give something. You can tribute, right? Pay tribute, or you can pay a tribute as in homage, which is um, what it says here, you know, uh, masa tribute tribute of Nadabtha. Nadab means free will out of your own free will right which is a um right free will offering of your hand not a free will offering according to the law but uh, a tribute of your own free will right of your hand Yadka Ashar Thatan which you will give Ka Ashar Yabaraka Yahweh Lahayaka La which you have blessed thee the Lord of your power Right, so it says you will keep the feast of weeks to the Lord your power. Right, a tribute, a free will tribute. Right, um, of your hand which he has given, which has given, right, Salakia, which you will give, like which he blessed thee, Lord your power. Right, Let's see how many uh, verses we got left. Eleven. Shalakia. Yeah. All right, Khan. Um. Verse eleven. Washamachta la panai yahawa lahayaka. Right, and you will rejoice before the face of the Lord your power, you and your sons. Atha. Wabanka. Ah. Uh, Wabatka and your daughters, um, and your daughter and your servant, Wa Ibarka, your handmaid, Wa Mathka, right, um, and the Levite, Waha Lawaya, which is in your gates, Ashar Bashayar Yaka, Salakia, um, Wa Bashayar Ka. Bashayar ya ka, or slakia. Bashayar ya ka, slakia. I got distracted. Right. Um, wahagar in the sojourner. Waha, um, yathawam, meaning and the orphan. Waha, almana. The widow, Ashar Bakwarabka, which is in your midst, Bamakwam, in the place, Ashar Yabakar Yahawalahayaka, which is the Lord your power, which you choose, you will choose the Lord your power to dwell his name hither, Lashakan um, Shamwa Sham, right? So, says and you will rejoice before the Lord your power you and your son and your daughter and your servant and your handmaid and Levite which is in your gates the sojourner uh, the orphan the widow and the widow which is in your midst in the place which you will choose the Lord your power to dwell his name hither verse 12 was Zakarath Kaya Aibar Chayayath right and you will and you will remember because servants you, a servant you were in Egypt in Bamatazarium you will keep Washamartha and uh and perform Wa Ashayath to the statues these 
ata ha hakwayim ha alha, right? Verse thirteen. Hag hasakawa da Aisha laka shabaita yamayim, the feast of uh, um, booths. Right, you will keep right. Um, you will keep right to yourself seven days. Um, ba asapka in your gathering, right, of your threshing floor, makaran ka, and um, wama. On my yakwab ka, right of your threshing floor and of your um and of your uh um what do you say it's like here and of your vet, right or of your wine press, you know either or, right? Because the vet is a wine press. Look it up. So it says the feast of Sukkoth, right, which is the feast of booths, right, also known as feast of tabernacles. You will keep unto yourself seven days in the in the uh, in your gathering, right, of your threshing floor and of your wine press. Washamachta bahaka, and you will rejoice in your feasting. You and your son and your daughter, Ata Wabanka, Wabatka, and your servant, Wa Ibatka, your handmaid, Wa Amatka, and the Levite, Waha Lawaya, the sojourner, Waha Gar, and the orphan, Waha Yatawam, and the uh, widow, Waha Almana, Ashar, which is in your gates, Bashayar Yaka. Shabai Shabai Tha Yamayam Tahag La Yahawa Lahayaka Right seven days you will uh will be a festival to the Lord your power in the place which he will choose Bamakwam Ashar Yabakar uh the Lord Yahawa Kaya Yabaraka Yahawa Alayaka because he has blessed thee the Lord your power because he will bless thee the Lord your power um, a call in all of your increase, Taba Bawaatka, Baba call and in all of the doings of your hands, Maisha Yadiaka, right, Wahayayath Aka, verse luck, yeah, Aka Tashamach, right. And it says, right, the, la the last three words, it says, and, and you will, however, rejoice, right? Because that word, Wahayayath, it's a derivative of um, um, Yahaya, meaning to be or to come to pass. Aka means, um, uh, however, Shamach means to rejoice. Right, and you will, however, rejoice because that thought at the end, Hayayat means you, right? You will, however, rejoice. Shal sh um, shalash, uh, meaning three, Payamyam, three times in a year, Bashana, you will appear, Yabra'a. Or Slakia, they will appear. Yah meaning he or they. Ra'a meaning to uh, to see or to appear. All your males call Zakarka uh, before the Lord. Atapanaya Yahweh. Allahayaka, your power in the place which you will choose. Bamakwam 
Ashur Yabachor, Bahag, Hamatazawa, in the Feast of Unleavened Bread, Wa Bahag, Hashabai Wa, in the Feast of Weeks, Wa Bahag, um, Hasakawath, um, and in the Feast of Booths, right? Wa La'a Yara'a, and they will not appear before the face of the Lord, Atha Panaya Yahweh, empty handed. Rayaquam. The derivative of of, em, of that word is uh, Rayak or Rawak, means empty. So it doesn't say handed, but you know, it doesn't have to. Ayash Ka Mathanath. Yad Yadwa Kabarakath means a man, Ka meaning like, Ma meaning of, right? Uh, thanath, that the word than means to give, right? The tha is supplementary to show you that it is according to the given of that man's hand, which it reads afterwards. Yadwa, Yadwa. Right? So it says a man like according to the given of his hand. Right? Um, or Salakia, a man um, like according to the given of his hand. Right? Kaaba Rakath, like he has blessed. Um, Or Salaki, a man uh, will give according to his hand, right? Because that word, like I said, ka meaning like, ma meaning of, than, thanath. Than means to give, right? So it says a man like the given of his hand. That's word verbatim at what it says. Right, so you can translate it as a man according um, to what he gives with his hand, right? Kabarakath, like which, like has blessed the Lord your power. Yahweh which he has given unto thee, right? Mashar uh, Nathan Laka, verbatim it says, it says uh, a man will give according to his hand, like which he has blessed unto thee, the Lord of your power, which he has, according to what he was given, he has given unto thee, right? So a man will give according to his hand. Or Salaki, a man will, will um, give accordingly with his hand, like which the Lord has blessed him with. Um, which, according to that which he has given unto thee, right? Shopatium, Washatarium, judges and officers, he will place unto thee, Thathan Laka, and all your gates, Bakal, Shayar Yaka, right, and all your gates, which the Lord your power, Ashar Yahawa Alahayaka, has given unto thee, Nathan Laka, La Shabbat Yaka, according to your tribe. Or uh for your tribes, right? Wa Shabbatwa, Shabbatwa, right? And will judge him to the people, Ataha Aim, of the judgment uh, of uh, justice. Ma Shapat Tazadak, right? Because that word Tazadak means justice or righteousness, right? La'a Tata Ma Shapat La'a Takayor, meaning you will not incline, because that word, the root word is Nata, meaning to incline, right? Or to bend to one's will. Ma Shapat. Right, you will not incline judgment. You will not acknowledge. Ah, 
the Kayar. The root word is Nakar, meaning right stranger or uh, to be estranged, right? And it also means to acknowledge, right? So it means you will acknowledge, you will not acknowledge faces, panayim, right? And you'll not show partiality. And you will not take shahar, a gift. Kaya ha shahar, because a gift uh, blinds ya aywar to the eyes of yanya of the of the wise. Hakamyam wa salap, right? And um, and they overthrow. That's what salap means, overthrow the words of the of the righteous. The barya tazadaya kwam. Right? So that's, that's what salap means, to overthrow, right? You hear Jake say that in the world, you know, this slaps. Right? Which means this is good. Right? Because you're you're overwhelmed and you know you see something as right as good because you're you're right your mind is you're, you're excited right so when you're overthrown i mean it could mean you know you're overthrown you know into like in a movie mean, meaning you know you're, you're you're convinced but it just means to overthrow not overthrow like throw over a a, a uh, house throw a rock over a house no it just means to be overthrown in judgment or to be overcome right to be convinced right so you can be convinced that a movie is good or rapper is good that's why jake says you know you know this slaps you know the barya does a dayak right so so in verbatim it says you will not incline judgment you will not acknowledge faces will not take bribes a bribe because a bribe uh, blinds the eyes of the wise and overthrows the words of the righteous or the just. Uh, verse 20, Tazadak, Tazadak, Taradap, righteous justice you will uh, chase. That word Radap means to chase. Lamayan, so that you may live. Tachaya, Wayarashta. And you will possess to the land Ataha Rataza, which the Lord your power has given unto thee. Ashar Yahawa Alahaya Ka Natan Laka Salakia. Uh, you will not plant that root word is natai meaning to plant literally to plant unto thee ashara uh, you will not plant it you will not plant unto thee a grove right um that's where you get the word asarith from which is a uh, idol, which is nothing. Asheroth which it was never a uh, stone idol. They were uh, plant. They were groves. They were trees that were made uh, to look like like women, like that uh, women worshiping spirit, queen of heaven spirit. Asherah poles. This is what an Asherah is. Or Ashtaroth. Right. This is what an Asherah is. Right. There were trees carved into idols or 
Um, let's see if I can get it. Man, I'm trying to find it. Let's see if I can find it. Um, let's see if I can just type in. Idle woman looking trees. Slakia. See if I can find it. Uh, here it is. Asherah pool. This is what a uh, Asherah was. Queen of heaven, you know, kind of a uh, women worshiping type of thing. They would make them out of trees. Kind of make them look like women. These are actual tree trunks and trees. Right? Still got Eve making them today, you know, wicked as hell. Alright. See? It's off. Alright, but it's just an idol. Like your Pastor Paul said, an idol is nothing in the world. Right? Um, Carl Itaza. Atazal, right, all tree, uh, near, Atazal means near, of the altar, Mazabach, yeah, of your Lord your power, Yahweh Lahayaka, Ashar, the Aisha Laka, which you will make unto thee, right, so it says, you will not plant unto thee a grove of all, of all tree, uh, near the altar of the Lord your power, which you will make unto thee. Right? It's not a sacred post. There's nothing sacred about it. It's filthy. Wala'a taqwayam aka matazaba. You will not raise up unto yourself a pillar, matazaba. The root for that is natazab, mean, literally means, uh, it's another word for stand, like aimad. Right? Ashar, which hates Shana, uh, the Lord your power, Yahweh Alahayaka, right? That's Deuteronomy chapter 16, going to the Hebrew, Lord willing, you're edified. Do not honor glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to Yahweh, and Abbas, Great Bill Stowe, Kwame Asherala, and Abad Baal, Shalom.